What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Apparel Apprenticeship Group. Let's have some fun. Over the next uh, six or so parts, we'll be going in depth over our apparel e-commerce business. And remember, the entire goal of the next six segments is to take you under my wing, treat you as if you were my business partner and I needed to get you up to speed on the apparel business as quickly as possible so you could help me run the business and make bunches and oodles of doodles of money with it, okay? Well, it doesn't get much better than that. And yes, you may be wondering, Devin, why are you wearing a laurel crown? And it's because this is our brand now, baby. We are the Scup Legion. We are the elite. If you know anything about Caesar, his favorite mounted armored legion was the 10th. And that is us. We are the elite Scup Legion. Right now, at this point, comment below on this video, Legion, okay? That's L-E-G-I-O-N. Today, I just need to explain the business model to you. Make sure you watch the entire video because there are things that you're not gonna wanna miss. You're gonna wanna see everything. But right now, I need to explain what we're even doing in the first place. Some of you might be like, well, I'm advanced. I don't need that. And I'll say to that, are you making a million dollars a month? Because we are, so maybe pay attention, mother We're gonna have fun with this too, by the way, because my business partners and I, we joke around a lot. We have a lot of fun. So welcome to the Scup Legion. I'm going to tell jokes, I'm going to say dirty words, and we're going to have a good old-fashioned time. So let's get into it. Our store, Paws, P-A-W-Z.com. This is the quintessential example of an apparel store. Uh, on this store alone, we've done over $40 million in sales, okay? And it's mostly selling apparel, okay? If we look here at our best sellers, we're selling hoodies, T-shirts, long sleeves, everything apparel, Okay. And one thing to understand about this business model is everything is print on demand. And that is why we chose this business model. Right now, we've got a lot of competitors in the apparel space who are struggling because they are not doing print on demand. They are carrying a bunch of inventory. And when you have inventory, it makes it really hard to adapt to changes and trends. Like right now, we're going heavy, 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 heavy on hats. But you see all of our competitors, what are they doing? They have tens of thousands of shirts because they weren't doing print on demand and they're trying to offload these shirts, but they can't because nobody's buying their shirts right now for some reason, but tons of people are buying hats. And because we carry no inventory, because we're not spending any money up front, we can adapt. We can say, okay, you know, uh, apparel's not moving so hot right now. Let's sell hats. And just to give you an example of what that's looking like over the last 30 days here, this is March, uh, February 3rd through March 3rd. Today is March 3rd. I am recording this the day that I post it, so it's as fresh as possible. Um, we've done $300,000 in sales. Like if we look at today so far, we're at $1,500 in sales. So uh, oh, did I say March 3rd? Sorry, it's April 3rd. Today is April 3rd. Um, if we look at yesterday, you know, we're at $8,300 in sales yesterday. If we look at the last 12 months, we are at... It's loading, it's loading. It's, it's about $3 million in sales. I can just tell you. Uh, $2,997,152.56 in sales. So the big thing here is that it's really the best business model that we found. We've been doing this for 12 years now. And I just can't imagine having inventory. Um, and it's such a beautiful business model for you guys because the opportunity is so freaking high and yet the upfront costs are so minimal, okay? So give me a print on demand below in the comments if you're excited about the fact that you can build an apparel store selling all these amazing pieces of apparel and all you have to do is come up with the design, okay? And by the way, I'm gonna give you another reason we're doubling down on this right now. But first, give me a print on demand in the comments, okay? Now, some of you may be thinking like, well, I, I don't know how to design. I, I don't wanna hire a designer. I don't know what to do, but I still want to take advantage of this, right? And by the way, this is just one of our stores. Right now, we're working on four stores. We're doing over a million dollars a month selling these products. Yes, we do sell shine on stuff as well, but 95% of our sales is coming from apparel. Now, right now, 
we're in a very special place. We're in a very special point in time, my legionnaires. And don't forget, you got to comment print on demand below. If you are not interacting, you are gone from the group, baby. And we'll be picking a winner and giving them a hundred bucks. So right now, we're at a very special time in the print on demand world, okay? Because 10 years ago, like for the past 10 years, you needed to be able to design products. You need to be able to like do all these crazy things. Uh, and, and the margins weren't even that great, actually. The margins have recently gotten way better. Like, it used to be 20 bucks to ship a t-shirt. Now, even the big dogs, like Printful, are, you know, 14 bucks. And you're, we're selling it for fucking, sorry, I cursed. I'm a naughty boy. We're selling it for 32 bucks. Like, the profit margins are really large now. That They're good. And don't be afraid to sell for more. But the big thing here is that you can now have AI do almost all of the work for you. That's what we're going to cover in on segment five, by the way, AI and how you can automate it. But we're at a very special point in this business model because like 10 years ago, running an apparel business was so much work. You had to have designers. You needed them to design your products. You needed them to design your mock-ups. You needed them to design your ads. You don't need any of that anymore. Like if we go and we look at our new arrivals, I want you to notice something. Okay, all these products, all these images, these are AI generated. Back in the day, you had to have someone build these mock-ups. Like these aren't real people. Th these are not real people right here. This is all AI generated. So now we're at a point in time where the l playing field is more level than ever. In the past, you needed all these employees, you need to be good at design, and that is the only way you could hope to make money like this, okay? But now, thanks to the power of AI, the, the playing field is leveled. Anybody can get in on this. Anybody can make money selling apparel without having to hire a designer. This is like where everybody was getting stuck. We used to teach people apparel like four years ago, and people were like, well, the design, the design, design, <laughs> AI's here, baby. And whether or not you accept it, you have to start using AI. If you want to get rich, which I know you do, okay, you gotta start using AI. We're gonna show you how. But look, guys, the, the business model is super freaking simple. Give me an AI in the comments if you're excited about how AI has leveled the playing field and made this accessible to everyone. The business model, it's super simple, guys. What do we do? We use AI to create a product, and we're going to show you how to do this over the next six parts. We'll show you every step. Sorry, I keep hitting my desk. It's shaking the camera. Use AI to create a product, okay? Then you get something like this. It creates the mock-up for you. You can use it to create the design. And it's sometimes you still need to get a designer involved, but you're, get, you're doing 90% of the work for them, okay? But you get a product, you put it on your store, you install an app like Printful or Printify, okay? You get this, and then all you have to do is upload your design using this app, okay? You create a Facebook ad, and I'll show you just an example. Right here of what these ads look like. So we can go to our store here. You create an ad like this. These are some of the ads that we're currently running right now. Create ads like this. People click on it. They come to your store. They say, okay, this is interesting. I like this. If you've done your job right. They buy it from you. And then either Printify or Printful, whichever company you're using. They're notified of the order. They ship it to your customer for you. And they charge you like 25 bucks and you keep the other $35 profit in your pocket. Of course, you have your customer acquisition costs. But at the end of the day, we're making like 30% to 20% margins on this. So what that means is that right here in the past year, we made a million dollars profit on this store. It's a little bit less than that. But... Millions of dollars, once you include all of our stores, over a million dollars in profit. 
And the best part about this business model, again, is the upfront costs are extremely low. If you're familiar with Shine On, it's basically the same, except now you're designing apparel. And the most of the work is done for you. Everything is shipped to your customers. And all you really have to worry about is creating the products and then running ads to them. You don't have to ship them. You don't have to get inventory. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. And you get paid for doing it. And you can operate in niches that you're passionate about. That is exactly what we do. This store is something we're passionate about. This is a different store. This is something that we're passionate about, okay? Look at the last 90 days. So $700,000 in sales in the last 90 days, Q1. And it's all focused on stuff that we're passionate about. So all day, what we get to do is sit at home on our computer, make millions of dollars for creating t-shirts in niches that we're super passionate about. And once you guys get to our level, which hopefully you can, because you're our business partner right now, we've taken you under our wing. Eventually, you just outsource almost all of this. Like we're still using AI to come up with ideas and then we just give the ideas to designers. It takes us like an hour or two a day, depending on how hard we want to work that day. And keep in mind, we're working on multiple stores. We come up with ideas, we send them to the designer and they do the work for us. And then our ad agency launches the ads. So it's basically all hands off. And there's just no business model out there like this. Paired with the power that we have AI now to automate so much of this that anybody can get in and anybody can do it. And we've done this. Oh God, I think I'm, I've lost track now. Uh, I think six stores. Um, and if you include some of our clients that we've consulted with, like nine, and each store has done millions of dollars in sales. One of those stores, by the way, we sold for a multiple seven-figure exit. Okay. So the profit margin on a sell is 100%. We had long-term capital gains tax because it's a business that we worked on for like six years before we sold it. So we had taxes that we had to pay, but they were lower than income taxes because it was long-term capital gains. We got paid. So with this business model, not only are you building something that sells all year long, not only are you building something that requires you to carry zero inventory and it's not a ton of work up front, I mean, you got to do the designs, you got to build a brand. We're going to show you how to do all that. But it's something you can sell. And the important thing about that is you can build generational wealth with it. Like the amount of money we made off our sale, you know, let's just say around 5 million when we sold the store. Is it generational wealth? No, not necessarily. But we can take that 5 million and we have done this, invest it, and if we wanted to, we never had to work again because we can live off the dividends from that. Like, let's say you put 5 million in the stock market and no, we did not just put all 5 million in the stock market. That would be insane. But let's say you did and you get 6% per year from the stock market. That's $300,000 per year just from letting your money sit in the stock market. And that's what's great about this business is you can, if you do it right and you follow the steps that we're going to lay out for you for Nerxo, you're going to be able to build a real brand. Like if you look at this, pause. This is a real brand. This is an asset. This is something we can sell. This is something we plan on making way bigger. Okay. We're even doing print on demand supplements now. I know this is about apparel, but we're doing print on demand supplements too. The print on demand niche is insane. There's nothing like this anywhere else. Now, because of AI, is the best time ever to get in on it. Give me a never been better in the comments, guys. Let's fucking go. Like, I'm hyped up. This is the Scup Legion. You guys are our apprentice over the next six segments. And we're going to show you everything we know in regards to this, guys. Remember, it was just a primer on what the business model is because believe it or not, some people have never heard of a print-on-demand store before. But this is what we've done for 10 years. This is what we live. This is what we breathe. And we're going to share all of the secrets with you guys over the next six parts. You mean excited in the comments. I want to see, like you should have commented at least four or five times by now. 
This post should have over 500 comments. Let's take it to the fucking moon, baby. Sorry, I've been looking at crypto. That's my crypto talk. <laughs> I gotta stop hitting my desk. But I'm really excited to share with you guys because by the end of this six days, you'll understand everything it takes to build your own million dollar business because we're gonna give you a behind the scenes look. And tomorrow, we're gonna talk about niches. We're gonna talk about million dollar niches because the way that people used to pick niches and the, even the way that we used to pick niches, you know, like five, 10 years ago, it doesn't work anymore. There's a new way. Facebook's changed significantly. And there's a new way to pick niches that are proven to work, proven to sell, and where you don't have to do anything crazy with the Facebook ads. Like back in the day, you have to used to do this micro niche targeting where you targeted dog lovers that have one right testicle and no left testicle. And you know, you had to get macro, like super micro targeting. Okay. Now we're doing macro. And that's what we're gonna talk about tomorrow. We're gonna help you pick your niche and after that, ladies and gentlemen, we get into products and we're off to the fucking races. So what I want you to do is comment ready to start below, okay? Comment everything I've asked you to comment. I need you to comment it below. Comment ready to start. And I want you to take today, the rest of the day, contain yourself, don't get too excited. Tomorrow we'll be back and we're gonna find your niche. I'm gonna show you how to find a niche for your store. Don't worry if it's saturated. We only operate in saturated niches now because the truth is, is that's where the millions are made. If you want to go into an empty niche, it's empty for a fucking reason, dog. There's no money in it, okay? There's no such thing as new ideas. Mm, delicious kratom. <sighs> no such thing as new ideas. But if you build a brand the right way, which we'll show you how to do, you can go into these competitive niches, and you can make millions of dollars. Ladies and gentlemen, I've got my sword and we're ready for a part two of the apparel apprenticeship. This is it guys, we're starting the real training. I hope you're excited. Over the next couple hours, we're gonna be showing you how to build a life-changing apparel business. And let's take a look over the shoulder of the store yesterday. During the first segment of apparel apprenticeship, the release, our store did $11,148.84 in sales. If we take a look at our other store, also selling apparel yesterday, $3,400 in sales. Yesterday in total, we did over $25,000 in sales across the stores, all selling apparel, all using the same niche strategy I'm going to share with you today. So let's get into how and what kind of niches we sell in and what you should be selling in if you want to have a successful apparel business. I'll put my ugly mug away and we can get into it. So I want you to take a look at these stores and tell me if you notice anything uh, in common with them. So this is our store, paws.com, P-A-W-Z.com. Feel free to check it out. This is our apparel store. It's one of our apparel stores. This right here is AAF Nation. This is a right-wing political store, okay? So politics, right wing, cool. This right here is a store called All Riot. And this is a left wing political store. So they are selling left wing political t-shirts and apparel, right? And here's another store right here called Ferry Morse, which is a gardening store. And they're selling a bunch of gardening themed apparel. I'm kind of a big deal, you know? Like, haha, people... And they're uh, using Printful as well, by the way, because this is a Printful model. I recognize that. But what is the one thing that all these stores have in common? Let me know in the comments. If you are one of, if a lot of people get this right, I will literally choose the winner from these comments. So pause the video. Now nah, we can't do it this way because I'm about to tell you what the answer is. So it would whatever, but still put it in the comments. I can't pick a prize winner that way, but I'm going to give you a second. I'm going to take a sip of crowd. And what do these stores all have in common? Delicious. Don't forget to leave your comments so you can be entered into the prize drawing. The one thing that all these stores have in common is these are all massive niches. They're all huge. Okay. 40% of Americans have dogs. Okay. 50% of Americans view themselves as right wing. 50% of Americans view themselves as left wing. 
And gardening is one of the top five hobbies in America. And what that means is that this niche right here, it has hundreds of millions of people in it because 40% of the American population is about 130 million people, 135 million people. This has 150 million people in it. This has 150 million people in it. This has tens of millions of people in the niche. So what all these niches have in common is that they are all massive niches with tens of millions of people in it. Can I get a massive in the comments? Look, honestly, this niche, it's massive. It's the biggest niche I've ever seen. I, frankly, I've seen better niches, but this one's massive. Sorry, that was my Trump impersonation. I, I, you know, I saw Trump's face over here. I got a little excited. What can you do? Ladies and gentlemen, give me a massive in the comments because that is the niches that we operate in now. We only operate in massive niches, okay? I'm talking, we want tens of millions of people in the niche. Can anybody tell me why? Let me know in the comments. Why is it that you think that we go after massive niches, okay? I'll give you the answer. And it's twofold. Number one, Facebook has removed a lot of targeting options over the years. You used to be able to get really granular. So you got, a lot of you may know this, but when I, uh, my first foray into e-commerce, okay, my store was a Boston Terrier store. We were selling Boston Terrier apparel. And I could target really micro on Facebook. I could literally target Boston Terrier rescue clinics. And because I could target those micro niches, it was extremely easy to get buyers. But now that niche, the, that targeting, it's gone. I cannot, tar if I want to sell Boston Terrier only apparel, it will become very difficult because I cannot target Boston Terrier owners on Facebook anymore. And there's only how many people own Boston Terriers in America? <sighs> Uh, it's the 24th most popular dog. I mean, I, I don't know how many people there are. Let's see, like, number... Uh, okay, so it's the 24th most popular dog. So it's it's definitely not extremely popular. Sorry, I was Googling on my computer. <laughs> um, it's the 24th most popular dog, so it's not super popular, right? So if I wanted to target it, I couldn't. And that's like what we used to do. Matt's first store was also a golden doodle store because he had his golden doodle Leo, just like I had my Boston Terrier Brutus. But we've had to evolve because you can't do that target anymore. So look at this. Like if we go to our best sellers here, this is a dog store. And all of our old designs used to have stuff about Boston Terriers, pictures of Boston Terriers, all that different kind of stuff on it, right? But if you look at our niche now, it's about as broad as it can go, okay? Because... If, if Boston Terrier owners are the like 24th most popular dog, then I would assume that there are only hundreds of thousands, maybe like 200, 300,000 Boston Terrier owners in America. But there are 135 million dog owners in America. Ladies and gentlemen, this shirt right here, or this sweater, sorry, it says dog mom on it. What does that mean? It means that this product appeals to all dog owners. I do not have to do the micro-targeting. I do not have to go and target just people who freaking have Boston Terriers. We've changed it up where we just go on Facebook and we don't even have to do targeting because if we launch an ad, then by default, 40% of the people who see our ad will be the target audience. Now, because this shirt is being sold to females, then yes, we do do some targeting where we only target females in America. And then more than probably half of the people who see our ad are our target audience. So it is so much easier to run Facebook ads when you choose or when you sell products like this. 
and think about it for American AF, right? Selling to right-wing politic people, people who are right-wing, <laughs> you know, like your boy, holla at me, get my sword out. I don't know what the sword has to do with being right-wing, but uh, whatever. By the way, comment massive below because these niches are massive and comment easy below because the targeting on these types of products is so much easier. I can target every single person in America and 50% of people for these products will be in my target audience. I can target fit, um, everyone in America and 50% of people will be my target market with this product. With this right here, uh, the gardening thing, I can target just people interested in gardening and gardening magazines on Facebook, which will be in the tens, if not hundreds of millions. And most of them will be my target audience. These are massive niches, okay? And the second part of why it's important to be in a massive niche is because that is where the money is, okay? If I'm selling to Boston Terrier owners, I'm already setting myself up for failure because I can't target them any longer on Facebook. We've already discussed that. But also, the target market is so small that it is hard to make life-changing amounts of money. Usually, if your market is small, what you do is you charge more because you're selling a more targeted solution, right? But it's hard to do that with t-shirts. Like, we're trying to sell t-shirts between like $32 and $36, right? And I can't raise the price just because it has a Boston Terrier on it. I could, but... There's not a lot of people willing to spend 50 bucks on a t-shirt, which is what I would have to do to make up for the smaller market size. Now, if you're okay with never making life-changing amounts of money, but I think that I'm, we're all in agreement here. Like the first goal is for you to make thousands of dollars per month, right? But after that, since you're our apprentice and what we do is we like to make millions of dollars on our stores, we need to go after the big niches, okay? So... Yeah, I mean, the, the two big reasons is, number one, it's easier to target. Facebook changed their targeting options a lot. And number two is because there's just more money, okay? Give me a more money in the comments, ladies and gentlemen. And it's just easier. I mean, look how simple this design is. It literally says dog mom. And the reason it works so well is because we're really good at building brands, which is something that we will talk about slightly, okay? And when you're really good at building brands, dude, becomes easy. And I want you guys to get excited about something because if we go to new arrivals on our store, and we've already discussed this in the first video yesterday, but if we go to new arrivals, something you'll see is all of these designs are AI generated. So all we're doing now is we're selling in these massive niches, and then we have AI generate both the mock-ups and the designs for us. And we're going to be talking about AI in video five. Give me an excited in the comments if you're excited for video five. I got a notification. I got to check. Okay. Sorry. Okay. And, and the results, guys, they speak for themselves. This right here is in a massive niche that is over 50% of the U.S. population we made $11,000 yesterday. This is in a massive niche that is like 25% of the US population, $3,500 in sales yesterday. We have another store that is in a massive niche that's 50% of the population, $10,000 in sales yesterday, okay? So I want you to start thinking about these massive niches. Think about things like politics. Think of things that have tens of millions of people and how, like which niches you could sell in. If we look at most popular hobbies, there's like cooking, gardening, video games, camping, photography. People are making millions in all of these niches, okay? Chess, woodworking, shopping. Shopping's not a fucking hobby. Shut up, dude. If, ladies and gentlemen, if your significant other shop or uh, hobby is shopping, then you need to implement what I'm showing you today because you need to make a bunch of money so you can support your significant other's favorite hobby. <laughs> But all, all these hobbies here make tons of money. Not all of them, okay? So some of them like uh, knitting, like that's kind of small, like advertising, you know, basketball. This is a fucking great one, right? 
But start thinking, start doing research on these massive niches that have millions of people in them. And now I want to introduce you to an idea of, so let's go through some popular niche ideas real quick. Sorry. So let me get rid of bold. We can do like basketball, right? So baseball, all these sports, right? These are all good. We have gardening. We have politics. With politics, you have left, you have right. And the thing about politics, guys, is politics is actually not a niche. It's a category. And we'll talk about that in a moment, okay? But this is a category. So it's very interesting. Um, and, you know, just go down the list, like blue-collar jobs. This is another category. And then you have, what, like plumbers. You have electricians. You know, things like that. Just look for these massive niches. We have outdoor fun stuff. I, I can't think of what it's called right now, but outdoor stuff uh, category. This is also a category. And you have things like fishing. You have things like hiking, climbing, all massive niches that people are really big fans of. Just write down a ton of niche ideas that have tens of millions of people and then do your research. So like how many people... How many people in America hike, right? So 61 million people in the United States participated in hiking activities. Now, with that number, you got to realize that not all of them are hiking all the time. So lower that number by like 30% and then you have 20 million people and that's your target audience, right? 20 million people in America are probably avid hikers. That's a big target audience that you could be selling to. And then with your Facebook ads, which we'll talk about with your, uh, how you're going to be making money is through ads. We'll show you how you can target things like that. Okay. Now I want to talk to you guys about the idea of niche versus category. Give me a niche in the comments, type the word niche in I C H E and type the word category. Okay. Make these two separate comments, niche and then category. And don't forget you're entering to win some money by commenting, baby, 100 bucks to uh, one person on each video. So a category is the macro. Macro is larger, okay? Niches exist within categories. Think of politics as a category. A niche is the micro, okay? These are smaller groups that will exist within your categories. So if you were to have a blue-collar job-themed store, for instance, okay, then you would have a category store, and then within that, you could sell to different niches. You could sell to plumbers. You could sell to electricians. This is a good way to scale, okay? That being said, okay? Give me a scale in the comments, by the way. That being said, don't start off with a category. Focus on one niche first and master it because you're going to get really confused if you're trying to create products from like multiple different niches. So don't focus, don't start off with a category store. Do not start off with a category store. But let's say you enter the hiking niche and you make a bunch of money and it goes well. And you're like, okay, I think I want to branch out into climbing now because climbing is very similar to hiking. There's probably a lot of crossover in uh, those two categories. So what you're going to do is you're going to change the name of your store and maybe redesign it a little bit and you're going to add an entire new category or sorry, niche, which is climbing. And by the time you get to that point, don't forget you're already successful because of the hiking stuff. You'll have money. You can pay people to build out your store. You can pay people to do your designs and do all that stuff for you. You won't have to do that work, but start off with a niche first and then you can expand out into a category. But one thing to realize is there are some category stores that will never work. Like you cannot have a political category store where you sell apparel to both the left and the right. People will go there and be like, what the fuck is this bullshit? Why is this dickhead trying to, uh, like he's not selling me my communist t-shirts. He's trying to sell me right-wing propaganda. And then they'll dye their hair green and they'll have a panic attack. <laughs> uh, yeah, it doesn't work. Yeah, you can't, some category stores will not work because the people in the category hate one another. People on the left, if you're in America, fucking hate people on the right now. And I know that's not real. I, I know that is like propaganda and that we're all just normal people trying to get by. But that's what the news would have you believe. Now, I've got this category store pulled up and I just wanted to show it to you. Posh in it. This is uh, one of our competitors 
actually for paws. Uh, this is one of our top competitors, Poshnet. And what they do is they sell to both dog lovers and they sell to cat lovers. So I just wanted to show you an example of a category store done right. And what's really great about their niche, by the way, is that the products are interchangeable. So when you're working on a category store, and we'll talk more about product research tomorrow and stuff like that, um, but give me an interchangeable in the comments because this is really cool stuff. When you have a category store done right like they have, you can have the same like products. So you can have the cat lover and the dog lover because what's happening is um, they're you're uploading like a picture of your pet here and they can switch out the pet in the middle. It's really interesting. And all, all of these people have to do, see this right here, this is another example. These are the same exact designs. They just put a dog instead of a cat. So when you have something that is working really well, see this, another example, the fur mother and the cat mother, you just switch them out. Um, when the categories are similar enough. And this is really powerful. If you think this is sick, if you think this is easy, put, give me a sick, like S-I-C-K, sick as an awesome in the comments because what they're doing here is amazing, okay? How great would it be to have one design in a category, a niche that's working really well, you can duplicate it over to another niche and you could double your money. This is your goal down the road, okay? Uh, we used to do category stores, by the way, and we don't anymore. Let me tell you why. Because the niches are just big enough that we operate in that we don't have to. Like we could go after cats right here, but it's not something that we want to do um, because we already have over 100 million people in this niche. So the only time I would really look into doing categories, like these guys do it, but I'm fairly certain that we're going to crush these guys, um, give us like five years and we're going to leave these guys in our dust, right? But if you're doing things like blue collar jobs where it's only like 10 million people or 20 million people in your niche, then it definitely makes sense to do a category. But remember the rule, guys, don't start with a category. Do not start off with a category. Focus on one niche first, then master it. And then if you want, if you feel the need, then you can expand out into a category. Peace. <laughs> Hello, my apprentices. This is your commander. Before we get into the product research section in today's training, I want to share, guys, why I'm so hyped. This is probably the most fun I've ever had with the training. As you can see, we're having a good time with it. Today, we're going to figure out how to find six-figure products. Let's fucking go. Um, but first, I want to take a look at the Apparel Apprentice Facebook group. Guys, look at this. 1.6 thousand comments in 22 hours. All right? insane with only 525 people in the group. Guys, we are blowing this out of the water. This training is blowing minds. This is insane. I'm so excited with what we're doing together. Give me an excited in the chat if this is blowing your mind. The levels of engagement, the amount of fun we're having, the legion and how it is taking over. Excited in the chat. Now, I wanted to catch you guys up on stores progress. So again, I just want to remind you that everything we're sharing with you in the apparel apprenticeship is stuff that we actually do. This is what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. Yesterday's sales, okay, April 4th. Today's April 5th. It's currently, I'm recording this real early. It's 8.30 a.m., so about an hour and a half before it goes out. I'm a last-minute guy. Yesterday, $10,784 in sales. On this store, $3,400 in sales. And what I'm going to be showing you guys is the exact way that we've started to research products for this store. And it's about, God, let's just think of that quote. Give me a Picasso in the chat. Okay, it doesn't matter if you spell it right. Give me a Picasso in the chat. And just a reminder, guys, we do pick people who comment and we will be sending them $100 in cold hard cash. So not only is it fun that you engage, um, but you can enter to win some money, and you show your love for the Scup Legion. Let's fucking go. All right, so Picasso in the chat, um, or I guess in the comments, whatever, it doesn't matter. But there's a quote from Picasso, and uh, this is also something that Steve Jobs did. So he reused it a lot. Good artists copy, 
great artists steal. Ha <laughs> ha! Um, and we're not like actually stealing, but we are taking other people's ideas and improving upon them. We look at what's working in the marketplace already, and then we recreate these designs. Because let me ask you a question. Which one sounds easier? Trying to come up with an amazing idea from scratch or improving on someone else's idea that's already selling, it's already validated, and you know will work. Obviously, you, you, you're gonna make more money if you come up with ideas from scratch. And we've done this a few times, okay? Back in 2020, I believe, yeah, 2020, we came up with a mask design. Yeah, we sold masks, whatever, don't judge us. But we came up with a mask design. It was original. It was a riff on the Don't Tread On Me, Gatsby, Gatson flag, the little snake thing. Uh, don't sneeze on me is what it said. And we're like, let's try that. That sounds fun. And we did over $100,000 in sales on it in the first day. So yes, you can make a lot of money uh, coming up with your own original designs. But the issue with that is it's like two out of 50 hit, okay? So you would have to make maybe even one out of 100. So you'd have to make 100 designs before you have one winner, okay? So let me ask you a question. Would you rather have one that's a product that's already working? Maybe it's a smaller pie, but eventually you get so many products that you're making sick amounts of money. I mean, look at this. I still have our store up here, $10,000 in sales yesterday. By the way, we did over $30,000 in sales total yesterday, again, across all stores. So would you rather start from scratch and hope something works? Or would you rather have something that is way more likely to work because it's already proven to sell in someone else's store and all you have to do is copy it and kind of improve upon it a little bit and make it your own? Uh, yes, I don't know about you, but I choose to mostly copy. Sometimes, you know, like a lightning strike, you get a great idea and, and you run with it, okay? It's gonna happen. But it's, it's literally like, because it's so rare to get a winning design that you come up with on your own, um, it's like you make the same amount of money whether or not you do all original designs or whether you improve upon other existing designs. So definitely do both. Like if you get hit with that strike of lightning like we did, and also uh, to give you another example, like the let's go Brandon thing. Um, when you're in a niche, you should really be paying attention to what's happening in it, okay? You should be listening to the podcast, watching the news, reading the news, whatever, right? So the day that that let's go Brandon thing happened, you know, with the, uh, when the uh, NASCAR race or whatever, the, guy, the crowd was chanting, fuck Joe Biden. <laughs> and the news reporter was a complete imbecile and was like, look, they're chanting for you. They're chanting, let's go Brandon, even though they were clearly saying, fuck Joe Biden. Doesn't matter. So what did we do? We're like, ooh, that's hilarious. So we launched a shirt, let's go Brandon. Guess what? Six figures in a single day again you will get those bursts of inspiration if you pay attention to your niche. But that being said, we're not gonna talk that much about that today. Instead, we're gonna talk about just general, uh, very safe product research because you guys are my apprentice. I don't want you going only for moonshots. I want you to build a business that is good, that is stable, and that has a really good chance of hitting the ground running not a one in 50 chance or, you know what I'm saying? So uh, give me a stable in the chat and give me an FJB in the chat. You know, if you want, that's up to you, depending on which way your political leanings go. Yeah, I'm, I'll be honest, guys. I'm a part of the revolution. Okay, I'm a revolutionary. I'm a revolutionary, right? Whatever. Um, I'm not really, but I, I am right wing because uh, the left has gone a little bit crazy these days, you know, whatever, but... Uh, it's neither here nor there. This is a product research video. You guys know that my politics are right, but let's get into the uh, product research. Know what I'm saying? So what we're going to be doing is looking for already winning designs, guys. Give me a already winning in the comments, okay? And, you know, don't shy away for FJB. Like, even if you don't like Donald Trump, okay, we can all admit that Joe Biden's not doing a great job. And a few things, uh, I already have this pulled up here. And don't forget to comment uh, copy in the chat because what we're doing is copying already awesome winning designs. Now, all I've done so far is I've come over to Etsy and I've typed in dog t-shirt, okay? Sip a kratom, you know, all that talk. Make sure mouth dry, the scup legion. Got a dry mouth, give me a dry in the comments. <laughs> uh, so dog t-shirt, right? 
I pull this up and there's, there's something important here. Like you don't wanna just look at the designs. You also wanna notice the trends, okay? So if you notice, if you scroll down here, what you're gonna notice is there is a certain type of design that is really, really like overwhelmingly winning right now. And it's this like retro vintage oversized t-shirt. Um, it's like those old wrap t-shirts. Let's, let's like literally like 90s wrap t-shirt. I, th I think that's what this design is. Yeah, like it's a 90s wrap t-shirt, right? So it's like these vintage 90s dog t-shirts and these cat t-shirts are in. And another thing that you'll notice is they're all personalization stuff, okay? And this this design right here, it's clearly a winner. And uh, what's cool about this too is that th this is really easy to make. Like you could hire any designer and they would be able to make this in like five to 10 minutes. Uh, Etsy, by the way, is not my favorite way to research, guys. I just wanted to pull this up to show you an example. I'm actually gonna give you something way better than this. Um, that I've completely switched to. But like, if we if we look here, uh, I would probably base my store around this. Clearly, this is not what we're doing because I think that this is for a bit of a younger audience. Like if we were to go to pause, uh, our, our audience here is like mostly females over 30. We're starting to go more towards the dads um, and the, the males, by the way. Like for if you're selling to men, hats right now are fucking in. Uh, so you, you'll notice like this is not the design style we're really going for. I might try a product like this out um, just because I can see how prevalent it is, but we're going with a lot more of the very obvious um, designs where it's just, we're relying less on style. See, this is like a style play right here. These are stylish. We're relying more on the design itself. And if you were to look, um, you know, if you were to do like dog, dad, t-shirt, you'll notice that our designs are very similar to a lot of these. Like this this right here is a little bit more of our bread and butter, like this antisocial dog dad. Uh, see, like we have this design on our store here. We haven't sold a ton of it, but again, um, this is all AI, by the way, this design right here. Give me an AI in the chat. These are the type of designs we're looking for are the very like, evergreen ones, I guess you could say. Because if we look at this vintage stuff, this won't last. This is a good thing to make a ton of money on, but it's not gonna last forever. These designs probably have like six to 12 months left in them. And that's the reality of print on demand sometimes. But let's, um, I wanna look at this shirt right here. Always look for reviews, guys. That's what we wanna look at. And like, don't ignore that they're selling it for 1996. It's completely ridiculous. But uh, reviews for this item is 45. Usually a good rule of thumb is 2% of customers leave reviews. So 45 times 50 is what the math we would do here to see how many sales this has done. And it's done about 2,250 units in sales, um, which is pretty good. This is a good um, this is a good design. Obviously we're selling it. So we agree and we know that it's a good design, but that's some math. And always guys look for reviews for this item, not reviews for this shop. But what you can also do is when you're here on Etsy, I like to look for uh, niche shirts or sorry, niche stores. So I want to find stores that sell. This is really good design right here. Best dog dad in the galaxy. So this is like a cross niche interest thing. Uh, a lot of men over the age of 30 love Star Wars. They love Lord of the Rings. And so if you can find ways to mix these types of products, it'll be really good for you. Okay. Um, some of our, even our Shine On students, like they crushed it by mixing things like Star Wars and Lord of the Rings and putting those into shine on designs. And uh, they made hundreds of thousands of dollars with those designs. So don't sleep on that. So again, like this 34 times 50, uh, 1700 units of this shirt. Now, the weird thing about Etsy is that people sell things so cheap. Like I do not know how they make money. I don't want you to ever get scared by this. Be like, well, Etsy, it's for sale on Etsy for $9. Like it doesn't matter. Most of the time with the t-shirts we're selling, um, they're not gonna go to Etsy to check. Cause you have to remember, these are impulse buys. Like when you run Facebook ads, what we're doing is impulse buys. So give me an impulse in the chat right now, ladies and gentlemen, enter my legionnaires for your money chances to win. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, this is uh, the, the $9 thing. Like I don't fucking get it. I honestly have no idea this $20 thing. 
Like if you look at our store, we're selling that same thing for 70 bucks. This is what you want to sell for. Okay. T-shirts, you're selling from $32 to $36. Hoodies are $60 and up. Okay. Ignore this shit. Don't let it discourage you. I promise you it's fine. We make tens of thousands of dollars a day and we do not sell for this price. You can too. And guess what? You're going to make a lot more money than these people because, I mean, $9, like there's, <laughs> there's absolutely zero room for profit on there. So on Etsy, you can just come and search around. This isn't like the main way that we're finding designs, um, but this is a really good, and look, here's another uh, cross section type thing. The other one was Star Wars and dogs. Here we have golf and dogs. I myself am a golfer. If you're a golfer, let me know. Comment golf in the comments below, ladies and gentlemen, or if you've ever golfed, or even if you hate golf, comment golf. But best dog dad by par. It's like a little double entendre pun. It's kind of funny. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of this shirt, but uh, if we look here, the numbers speak for themselves. 183, so remember 183 times 50, because only 2% of customers leave reviews, 9,150 sales on this bad boy. And remember, that's like a loose number. Um, the math is pretty correct because, you know, we've been running stores for uh, over 10 years and, you know, that's the number that we have is that on average, 2% of people who come to our store and buy something, leave a review. So this one is a really good seller. Uh, this is something that I might actually uh, putting on our store because this is... Uh, this is going really well. It's, it's worth testing out, you know, and seeing what happens. Okay, so that's the Etsy method. And remember, Picasso, all right? Good artists do what? Copy, great artists steal. And we're not stealing, we're ethically improving, okay? Give me an improve in the comments because what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these designs that we have and we're gonna take them to our designer and we're gonna say, make them better. And look, like literally, some of this stuff is like not copyrighted because this right here, this design is just a riff on high fashion, which is anti-social social club. So anti-social social club. Like th this is just them copying a design. Uh, so again, you know, there, there's no such thing as original ideas. I don't know what's going on. I cannot navigate this website. Uh, but if we were to go look at like anti-social social club hoodies, look, it's our ad right here. Let's go, baby. We are out here, we are advertising, pause. Um, but, you know, it's just a riff on this. You, you look for these pop culture phenomenons and you can riff on them and improve them. And that's what these people did. And then we took this design also and we just put our logo in the DOG section of it. We made it branded. Everything we do is branded. I would highly suggest that you consider doing branded things as well. Give me a brand in the comments if you want to build a six or seven figure brand that you can sell. If you remember back to the first video, we discussed how we sold one of our brands for multiple millions of dollars, okay? That's why we put things like our logo in here because it gets people coming back and buying from us. It creates brand affinity. They love our brand and they spend lots of money with us. That's what we want, ladies and gentlemen. We want these people to come to our store and we want them to spend that money with us. Oh God, this was probably in a stripper's butthole and now it's been on my face. No offense to any strippers out there. You're doing the Lord's work, all right? Someone's got to do it, okay? <laughs> so comment brand below. And if you're also ready to get into the main product research uh, thing I want to share with you today, just give me a research time and give me a ready in the comments, two separate comments, research time and then ready. And let's fucking get into it. Guys, we're going over to Google. Google has become my best product research friend. Okay. It is how I've done all my research. I pair two great tools together, Google and Facebook. Give me a Google in the comments, ladies and gentlemen, we are interacting. We're having a good time. Look at this. 1.6 thousand comments. Can we beat it, ladies and gentlemen? Goal for this video is to beat that. Help me beat this. Let us get the most engagement, Scup Legion. Let us get this to the next level. You know, one of our core values is we leave things better than we found them. And we're going to leave this one with more comments, okay? Let's put better than, and this is actually another, uh, think about this for your designs too. Give me better than I found it in the comments because that, that's also the whole idea behind our designs, okay? We take designs like this and then we make them better than we found them, okay? 
Simple way to look at it is our fucking color scheme's better. Okay, look at this. See, we're not using that white. We're using off-white. Personally, we think it looks a lot better. We leave things better than we found them. That is our entire thesis with designs. That is entire what we do with everything in our lives at SCUP. And just remember that. If you want to be successful with print on demand, create designs that are better than the ones that you found. Boom. All right. So give me a better in the comments. Remember, we're trying to beat that last video. Okay. So what we're going to do for product research is go to Google and it's really simple. We just go gra dog graphic t-shirt. We just type that in the search bar. Okay. And then we go to shopping and then we look at, at the ads in the top. So all we're going to do is we're going to look at these ads because we want to see people who are running ads because people who are running ads are typically making money. Okay. So we've got and we, we're going to ignore all these Etsy things. We're going to ignore this Malibu thing. What we want to look for are niche stores, okay? So niche stores that are based around dogs. So like Urban Outfitters, Tilly's, we don't care about that. We just keep Perky Prince, okay? That sounds like it's about dog. Pawfic House, sounds like it's about dog, right? And all we're doing is looking for some dog niche websites. Paw warts, sounds like dogs to me. And now we can do dog hoodie, things like this. See, that's that's why it's, uh, you know, wow, these are cute. Okay, so dog, that's why I put graphic in the name, by the way, because I want them to understand that I'm looking for human apparel. All right, puppies make me. Okay, so now we've, Puppies Make Me Happy, so it looks like we got two from Puppies Make Me Happy. So now we've got a couple stores. I'm gonna close this one. We've got Paw Warts. We've got Paw Ficked House. We've got Perky Prince. I don't know if this is dog stuff, by the way. We're probably gonna close this. It looks like it is, yeah, it's custom prints of your pet. This is cool. This is a little bit different than what we do, but we'll leave it open just so I can show you guys the example anyways. So what we wanna do is we go to these websites that are running ads, and there's a couple things you can do. Number one is you can go to shop and you can sort by best selling, okay? Give me a best selling in the comments. That's obvious. Um, that's the really obvious way to do this, but we're gonna do a more ninja way. But now we have some ideas for designs already, okay? These are really cool. It's very uh, clear that these guys are focusing on an intersection, which is dogs and fitness, which is great. Um, there's a lot of fit dog owners out there. This design is awesome. I, I love this. Just give me a love in the comments if you love this, because I think this design is absolutely hilarious. Um, if my wife did Pilates, I would buy this for her. So what we're going to do, guys, is on these websites, you, you can definitely look for the best seller, but we're going to scroll down to the bottom and we're going to look for their Facebook link. That's what we want to see is a Facebook link right there. And then we'll be taken to their fan page. Give me a Facebook link in the comments. Just type Facebook link. I want to, you to confirm to me that you know what we're searching for, which is the Facebook link. Once you're on this page, you're going to click on the about, okay? On the about at the very top. And then you're going to click on page transparency. I know you guys can't see my cursor. Uh, I'm really sorry about that. I, I don't know how to make it so my cursor shows when I'm recording. Okay. And once we're here, we can see this page is currently running ads. Okay. That's what we want to see. And that's why we look for stores on Google that are running ads. And then we can click see all. And then at the bottom, we can see ads from this page is currently, this page is currently running ads. And you just click go to ad library, just like that. Boom. We are now on their page where we can see all the ads that they're running. We're going to hit filters. We're going to change active status to active ads. And then we're going to apply the filter. Give me a mind blown in the comments if your mind is blown right now. Because now we are looking at products that they are running ads to. And typically, if people are running ads to a product, it means they're making money with it. Okay, so these guys are doing something that we do sometimes, but we don't do it a whole lot. It is very clear that they found something that's winning here. I mean, these ads have been running since February 15th. And if you, um, I want to try to view it on Facebook. I can't remember if we can view it uh, actually like on Facebook and see all the engagement. It doesn't look like it. 
But, you know, these were launched on February 15th. So uh, just under two months ago, they've been running for a while. Usually if you're running something, it means you're making money with it. So that's a good sign. And they're running collection ads. So they're sending people to this fitness collection. So it's clear that they've got something that's working. And if you wanted to uh, copy this, you could. Uh, Honestly, I, I probably wouldn't copy these guys. Once I see that they're running to collections, what that says to me is that they have no standout products. So at this point, I would move on to the next designer, which is going to be Pawfect House. And again, guys, what can we do? We can go to best sellers if we want, and we can see their best selling t-shirts. So this is a good way. Like, okay, cool. Now we kind of know some of the stuff that they're selling. Uh, these are their best sellers. But what we want to do is go to their Facebook. Remember, we're going to go to the about section, page transparency. This page is currently running ads. Great. See y'all. Go to ad library. And remember, then once we're here, 6,100 ads, by the way, insane. We go to active ads and we apply the filter. And now we can scroll down and we can see what they're running ads to. And they've got a lot of different stuff that they're selling. A lot of these ads are really recent, by the way. So these guys do a lot of tests. And it's very clear to me that they don't sell just dog stuff. But I would scroll down. I want to look at ads that are running for a while. Uh, I saw some blankets, by the way. I believe Shine On. Uh, we don't sell any blankets, but I believe Shine On offers blankets now. So that's pretty cool. But again, look at all these product ideas that we have. We can just come here. We can scroll down, look for ones that have been running for a long time. Mm-hmm. And then we can make those our ads. Is that a little Boston Terrier I saw? You guys know I love Boston Terriers. Yeah, so like, look at this. This is these cool, interesting things. And by the way, you can print on demand these items too. Any, there's basically print on demand for anything right now. So we can get tens or even hundreds of product ideas in minutes by doing this. And honestly, I'll just spend a couple hours a week doing this. Like I've been recording for 25 minutes right now and I've been on this section for like 10 minutes and we've already got tons of product ideas, Okay. And again, we have what? Paw warts. Do the same thing. We just repeat the process. We come down here. Almost every store has a link to their Facebook in the footer. You come here, okay? About page transparency. This page is currently running ads. Boom, exactly what we want to see. We go to their ad library and filter active ads. And great, we can see what they're running. This has been running since December. This personalization stuff's really working. Again, personalization is super easy to do these days, okay? Almost every print-on-demand supplier allows you to do uh, personalization. So just keep doing this over and over. Find designs that you like, guys, and you can do it in other niches too. So give me a designs in the comments. If you like this way of finding designs, this is almost exclusively what we've been doing, but we could do right-wing t-shirts, okay? And we can see grunt style here. Uh, We can see our liberal friends type thing. We can see liberty, tyranny. Uh, By the way, this is the most popular niche right now. Like this is the best niche to sell in if you want to make a bunch of money. Biden Victory Fund web store. Okay, so this is like a a left-wing store. This is, oh, this is actually like Joe Biden's website. (laughs) Okay, so now we're on a right-wing t-shirt brand. We come down here. We look at their Facebook, One Nation Design. Now, not all of these guys are guaranteed to be running ads because it can be difficult to run. Um, This page is currently running ads though. See y'all, go to ad library. And then what do we do? 1900 results. Sheesh, these guys are crushing it. Give me a crushing in the comments if you're ready to crush it like these guys are. Let's fucking go. Guys, I hope you're loving this because I mean, look at this. This has been running since October of 2023. Boom. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. So uh, what these guys are doing is they're, um, this is basically a category store. It's right wing, but right wing is not just politics. You need to think of right wing in multiple different facets because there is uh, the Christianity aspect of the right wing. Most right wing people are Christian. So this right here appeals to the Christian warrior within them. A lot of... uh, right-wing men view themselves as like warriors of God and warriors of good. Uh, You know, clearly, guys, I'm a warrior. 
Uh, but, you know, I'm sad to say I'm not religious. I wish I could believe in God. I, I, I try to believe in God. It's just difficult, but I don't even want to get into that. We got some blue line stuff right here. So, like, blue line and police support, um, firefighter support, first responder support. These are all sub-niches within the right wing. When people think about right wing, they're, a lot of the time they're only thinking of politics. But look at this. And then they've got the we, the people. So this is the constitution right here. It's just a constitution shirt and they've been running it for a while. And look, they're selling in our price range. What did I say? $32. They're selling it for $32, just like I suggested. And again, there were some other stores I pulled up, right? We have grunt style. We just scroll down here. We click on the Facebook. This, this is a massive store, by the way. I think this is like a nine figure store. This store is really big. I know the store. I did not know the other store, surprisingly. Uh, you would go to their ad library. And again, guys, this is how we're finding. And Grunt Style, by the way, does the playbook perfectly. Study these guys because they've built a brand. What the fuck did I just click on? Oh, that wasn't a product. Okay. But we can scroll down. We can see the designs that they're selling. We can, okay, so these guys are running a lot of branding ads too. But we can look here. We can see like this shirt. Uh, say hello to my little friend. I don't uh, really understand this shirt. Oh, Cinco de Mayo. It's a Cinco de Mayo shirt, I think. So they're selling a, like a Cinco de Mayo shirt, which is like a partying shirt, I believe, because I don't know why else they would be selling this. I would have to think about it. That's interesting. Um, but clearly it's working for them. They've got 32 reviews on it so far. So remember 32 times 50, they've sold 1,600 of these. Guys, if you love this, just give me another love in the comments and give me a can't wait if you cannot wait to start launching your own t-shirts and building your own apparel brand, this stuff, this is exactly what we do. I'm giving you the over the shoulder. And if you're getting a little overwhelmed, remember, Rome wasn't built in a day. I don't expect you to figure this out right now, but you have the training, you can come back to it, take it slow, okay? Even if it takes you the next two to three weeks just to decide what product you wanna sell, okay? That's okay, as long as you're making progress. Okay, give me a progress in the comments because progress is more important than anything. And don't grade yourself against us, okay? Like, what we're, I'm showing you what we're doing right now and we're making tens of thousands of dollars per day doing this. But don't compare yourself to me. Compare yourself to where you were yesterday. And if you keep improving every day, you will get here. You'll get here. But you have to never give up and you have to just do something every day to make sure you got better results or to become better than you were yesterday. So just give me a better than yesterday in the comments and give me a can't wait if you're excited for tomorrow's video where we talk about starting to get traffic. Okay, and yes, um, one thing I glossed over was the design aspect, getting designs. Guys, it's so easy these days. So Fiverr t-shirt design, just do this. And you have tons and tons of, of different people. You get t-shirt design for 10 bucks here. And then what do you do? And look, these guys do the 90s vintage stuff. So if you wanted to make a 90s vintage thing, these guys can do it right here, okay? And yes, we're gonna show you how you can make designs with AI, but that is uh, the fifth video. This is the third video. Fiverr is just, it's a good place to get started, guys. And, and don't be afraid to spend money. You have to spend money to make money. It's called an investment, all right? Do you think that, Dude, I started out in my grandma's attic borrowing money from my grandma. Just do what you got to do, you know? Give me an investment in the comments if you're not scared to invest in yourself to make this work because that's what it's going to take. And let's fucking do it because I believe in you. But what's more important is you believe in yourself. And uh, there's also Upwork, but I would just recommend sticking to Fiverr and keeping it simple. These guys know what they're doing. Look at their reviews. This guy right here looks like he specializes in right-wing t-shirts, you know, if that's something you wanted to do. But uh, in the fifth video, we'll show you how you can automate the design process with AI, but you're still gonna need a designer at the end of the day. It is something that you can't get around just yet. The AI will do 95% of the work for you, so you don't have to pay the designer very much money and you can ensure they get it right. Um, but you'll probably still want a designer. Like if you look at pa pause, you know, some of our shirts here, this is all AI, right? But so for instance, like this is created with AI, but the issue was the AI kind of misspelled it a little bit. And then we wanted to put our logo in it. So AI can do 90% of the work of getting you there, but you still need a designer. 
This is the Apparel Apprenticeship. I am your Caesar, the commander of the Scup Legions. Guys, today we're getting into the ad section. Uh, real quick, I want to do a quick review with you over uh, store's performance since we started this challenge. So let's go to yesterday, which is uh, Friday the 5th. Today is the 6th in the morning. It is bright and early. And $10,736 in sales yesterday, keeping our streak, staying above uh, five figures a day here on this other store. We are looking at 3,400. So let's take a look since we started the challenge. Guys, I want to show you how it's performing. Uh, I believe we dropped the first video just on the third. So third through the sixth, right? Uh, so far, $33,000 in sales over three days. Let's go. And, you know, if we want to look at this week, so uh, started on Sunday. Saturday, we're currently sitting at 62K, baby. And again, let's take a look here. Uh, Sunday, where is it? Sunday through Saturday, we're looking at another 19K. So a smooth, uh, almost $100,000 in sales in the past week on these two stores, uh, as well as our other store, which has been doing even more revenue. But I don't work on that store, so I do not have access to it. But that is all Matt, baby, crushing the game. So what we're showing you guys over here, dude, next level tactics. We're trying to keep it simple. Give me a next level in the comments, by the way. And also give me an excited, if you're excited, to start seeing these sales on your Shopify dashboard. Sip a Kratom while you're typing those comments. Mm. Delicious. I'm almost out, guys. What am I going to do? Um, but we're trying to keep this as simple as possible because I want you to understand the basics. Like I could get more advanced. I could do all this crazy stuff, but it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, three things really matter. It's your niche, which we've already covered. You sell in the big niches, baby. That's where the riches are in the big niches, okay? Once you have your niche, what's even more important at that point is product. And remember from last video, okay, first of all, comment niches below. Give me a niche comment. Second thing is products. What was our, our mantra, our motto from the last video? It was good artists copy, great artists steal. But even better artists improve upon. And that's what we're doing with our products. The whole idea is simple. We look at what's already selling. We find ways we can improve it, okay? Doesn't have to be crazy, all right? It could literally just be using better color palettes like we did with that um, dog hoodie, okay? So give me an improve in the comments to show me that you understand that what we're doing is improving products. And the third part, and honestly, the simplest part these days is the ads, and that's what we're gonna cover now. So, real quick, let's take a look at this, guys. Blown away, absolutely blown away. Oh my God, it's at 2.2 thousand comments now. Can we beat it? I don't know, but let's say beat it in the comments, because I wanna beat it, you know? That sounds way too sexual. <laughs> I want to beat it. Um, okay, let's get into the training. This one will probably be pretty quick uh, because it is the easiest part and I want it to be easy. I'm glad it's easy because then anybody can do it, okay? So our ad method is simple. H-I-C. This is what I want. This is what we use to run ads. I want you to comment H-I-C below. And if you know what it stands for, comment that below as well. It is hook incentivize, and it's call to action. This is all we do with our ads. It is the simplest thing in the world. In fact, I will take you over the shoulder real quick and I will show you our ads for pause. So let's take a look. And you're gonna see it's very simple. We have Hook, it's more than just dog, dad, dog, cats. Every order helps us find a, a dog's new home. This is also kind of like a hook. We incentivize with the discount code and then we call it to action shop now, okay? So that's it. Like, look at these. These are extremely simple. These are all inactive down here. Let's go to active ads only. If we look, like, it's extremely simple. We're not writing anything crazy. We're not doing anything crazy. 
And if you look at, let's, um, oh wait, AAF Nation's banned from Facebook. Uh, no, there's no way that they're banned. Let's go. AAF Nation. Let's go look at one of the biggest right-wing stores. Let's look at their Facebook ads. These guys get banned from Facebook advertising nonstop because their their ads are so, uh, yeah, they're not currently running ads. These guys get banned nonstop because their products are like so controversial. So that's like one of the things you have to worry about when you're running uh, the political ads. So let's see, right wing apparel. So we'll just go look at one of these guys. The issue is I don't actually know how much these particular people are crushing it, but I want to go look at their ads so we can, and remember like that same method I used for product research guys, it's important to realize that this is also how you dissect their ads. This is how you learn what ad copy other stores are using. So great holsters at a damn great price. This is interesting because I was actually under the impression that you could not say bad words uh, in ads. And I've, I've had many ads shut down back when I first started years ago. So I kind of stayed away from it, but, uh, okay. So these guys aren't really hooking, but their, um, their, their designs and their fan page name are the hook because it's very clear. We, the people, this is a part of the U S constitution. They're using that to call out their target audience as well as the headline, the only T pack for true, true patriots. So limited time offer. This is scarcity. Scarcity is very powerful. Use it when you can. Um, we, only use it when it's real, like if we're actually running a limited time sale. So like Black Friday, for instance. Uh, then they incentivize, right? Get two tumblers for the price of one using promo code. They tell you what to do and then they give you the call to action. So it's hook. They're hooking you with a limited time offer. They're incentivizing you by saying it's two for one. They And then they give you the call to action. And you'll see this a lot with big stores because they understand that it's simple and that it works. Hook, okay? also incentivized and call to action. It's really simple. So that's, give me a simple in the comments if you agree that this is simple and, and excited, if you're excited that it's this easy to write Facebook ads, okay? I've seen people like get so caught up on this, trying so many different ways, but it's just you call out target audience with a hook, you incentivize them to buy, okay? And this is important. We'll talk about pricing uh, to incentivize, and then you tell them what to do. So for instance, and you can do all this with AI. Don't forget our AI video is the next video. If you're excited for the AI video, give me an AI in the comments. So let's just write an ad for one of our um, hats. Okay, so let's pretend that this is the product we're selling right now. And if we had to hook incentivize and we had to call to action. Okay, so we have 20% off, right? So, whoops, lost my document. Okay, so calling all dog moms. New, calling all dog moms. And then, you know, maybe like some uh, dog emojis. I can never remember the keyboard shortcut to do emojis. Oh God, I'm like trying everything and nothing's working. Okay, I can't remember. the. I'm using my keyboard and not my Mac. I usually use my Mac. <laughs> okay, so let's just do this. Dog emoji. Okay, so calling all dog moms. All right, I like this one more. Let's grab this dog emoji. So calling all dog moms. Save 20%. With code 20 off, really simple. And then click shop now below to get yours. Guys, I know that this is incredibly simple. I know that you're thinking that's too good to be true. It's too easy. And yes, it is simple. No, it's not too good to be true. And the reason why this works is because the design is what does all the heavy lifting. The only thing that really matters is the design, okay? You could like royally fuck up the ad and as long as your design is good, it will win. That is how print, sorry, I'm getting like sucked down the rabbit hole looking at this, these guys store and doing a little bit of research. 
I'm curious to see what they're what they're selling. Interesting. So these guys are running very, very similar ads to to these guys. So you can kind of like look in an, into a niche and see what works. And it appears that like these three packs or four packs of shirts with flags on the side or the logos on the side is what's working. And the whole appeal to these, by the way, is that they're American made. So that's like, how are they able to sell just these basic t-shirts and it's made in USA? Like that's the whole thing. This is their, their niche. This is their shtick. You have to understand your audience and understand what they like. So you could get away with selling super basic shit. Just like there's no designs on this, okay? The margins on this is probably sick and it's also a lead product. So once you get people in with this, you can sell them your other designs because they're on your email list now and stuff like that. So selling those cheaper, the production costs on these are gotta be really cheap because there's no designs or anything like that. The ink is where it starts to get expensive. And I know this isn't a product research video, but I find this to be very interesting. So what they're doing is they're probably selling these uh, and then once they get people in, then they sell them their other designs and they probably are like break even on this, maybe a little bit profitable. And all they have to say is made in the USA. This is literally why people buy it. Shouldn't America's favorite t-shirt be made in the USA? See, that's like exactly what they're going on. This is smart and it's, it just shows that they know their niche because in this niche, that's all it takes is made in the USA and people will buy. Anyways, um, and that's why you'll see in, in ads for brands like this, they'll usually have made in the USA. See, made in the USA. Uh, we don't use imported hats. We make them in the USA. These guys are smart. They understand that hats are going to be like one of the top sellers this year. But yeah, study this. They're, this store is doing things right. I, I'm, these guys know what they're doing. Let's put it that way. Very smart. They know the niche. Um, and if they keep this up and selling to the right brands. But this is, this is their hook. Made in the USA. That's the hook because they know that Patriots, that's like one of the biggest things they care about. Like if you look at Jocko Willink, he's going all in on a brand made in the USA. So if you're selling to Americans who are patriotic and are on the right side, this is what works. But let's look at the formula. They have the hook, right? Made in the USA. They have the incentive. Okay. Use code SAVE10 to save a few bucks. And then they have shop now, call to action down here. That simple, guys. If you agree, again, that this is simple, just give me another simple in the comments. If you love this, give me a love in the comments. This is awesome. It's just, I know it seems easy, guys, but honestly, the ads are the easiest part of the formula now. So, God, I have so many tabs open. Calling all dog moms, save 20% with code 20 off. Click shop now below to get yours. It's that simple. Sorry, guys, I had to pee really quickly, so I paused recording. That being said, now we will get into launching our ad. Give me a launch in the comments. So, guys, Facebook's changed a lot. We have two options. The first thing we want to do is click create new ad here in the top left. We want to go with a sales ad, all right? Then we hit continue. And now we have two options, all right? You have Advantage Plus shopping campaign, and you have manual sales campaign. You see, with Advantage Plus, they're going to do all the targeting for you, all right? So you will not be able to really choose your target audience and stuff like that. This is the advantage of going after really huge niches is that you can do this. So for instance, if you're selling in the right wing niche, the dog niche, you're selling anything with tens of millions of people, you could just do an Advantage Plus shopping campaign. And when you're in here, all you have to do is choose website, you choose your pixel, maximize number of conversions, conversion event, purchase, okay? Of course, you want purchases. Choose your audience location. United States is what we're looking for. Daily budget, we're looking for $20 to $25 a day. That's really where we would recommend starting it. And then, I mean, this is really all you have to do on this page. You don't have to do anything else. Few things. Ignore this. Ad set may get zero purchases. This doesn't mean anything. Okay, we get the same error when we're launching ads for a store that does $10,000 plus a day. So exit that out. Give me an ignore in the comments if you understand that we're ignoring that shit. It doesn't matter at all, okay? And then what we're gonna do, make sure we're just targeting the USA. That's all we want. Please start with USA only. Do not try to go outside of that. And then here is where we're gonna advertise our product on the next page. God, I have so many tabs open from working on this with you guys. Uh, where's this product? Let's, 
Let's close out all these tabs, okay? How about we start there? <laughs> uh, okay. We'll go to the pause product we were gonna advertise. Um, let's go a different one actually, because this one's, yeah, we can do this, antisocial dog dad. So we will save the image. I'll just take a screenshot of it. I'm too lazy to save it. So we'll take a screenshot of this right here. Cool, antisocial dog dad. Uh, we need the URL for the product. So we're going to grab the URL at the top of the page. We're gonna enter that here. And then right here, we're gonna just enter our base URL. So pause.com is all I want to show here. Let's see. Okay. And for our primary text, we'll be like an antisocial dog dad. Doesn't really matter. Oh, wait, wait. Sorry. We're gonna put the ad copy here in the primary text. Sorry, I thought that was the headline. I'm so stupid. Calling all dog dads. And since this is selling to a, a dad, you could remove the emoji or you could test it with the emoji. And then the best thing to do is to do some suggested text variations. Now, the cool thing is Facebook does a lot of these for you. So you can leave these here if you want or you can add your own text options, but calling all dog dads, save 20% with 20 off, click shop now below to get yours. And honestly, like the headline that has been generated already, as well as everything else looks good, but where it says learn more, we wanna change this to shop now. And that's, that's all there is to it. This is all you need to do to create Facebook ads for these print on demand products. Now, the image I took is kind of bad, it's not square, so it's showing you know, a little squished. Uh, you want your images to be 1500 by 1500. That's my bad because I was too lazy to actually, you know, <laughs> uh, download the image and I just made a screenshot. Now, let's look at the other way that you can run ads. You can create, we can do sales. Give me an easy again, by the way, in the comments, if that's just super easy, okay? Advantage Plus shopping has made things extremely easy. But let's say you wanted to do manual. Actually, I don't even want to show this to you guys because Advantage Plus is taking care of all the work now. And it's it's just way easier. I don't want to get too complex because I want you guys to understand how easy it is. Now, you might be wondering, how does Facebook know who to target, right? If we're not putting in any targeting options. And Facebook's got essentially an AI that is doing the targeting for you. So what it does is it reads your ad copy. It reads what's in your image. Yes, Facebook can read this image and it knows exactly what's in the image and it knows what the product says. It knows what text on it and it reads your website. So Facebook is reading all that data and then they're deciding based on millions of purchases that they've already tracked in the past who the best person is to serve your ad to. Give me an awesome in the comments if that is awesome, okay? It used to be I'd do all this micro-targeting, all that nonsense, and now it's probably starting to make sense to you why we go after these huge niches because we understand that Facebook's got this AI and we understand that it can go out there and find the right people. And if we sell in small niches, those small target audiences in Facebook are gone. It's really hard to target those people. You used to be able to get really easy with it, but now you have to rely on Facebook's AI to find those small people, which is good, and it can. But why not use what they've given us? Why not go after these massive audiences, let their AI do the work with the ads and find us customers, and all we have to focus on at that point is the product. Like, how nice is it to basically remove the ads portion from your plate entirely? and just let Facebook do the work. Let them find your customers for you. And then you just focus on the products. Give me a focus on the products in the comment because if we want to be successful, that is what we're going to do. We are going to focus on the products because that is where the money is made. Give me another legion because we are the scup legion. We're destroying the fake gurus, we're destroying the bullshit, we're destroying the nonsense, and we're stabbing it all with this fake sword. It's actually a real sword, but it's not sharp uh, at all. Like the hilt. Metal, baby, it's solid. Yeah. 
What's up, Scup Legion? It's your boy, Caesar Devin, leader of the Scup Legion Empire, now featuring a sunburn. And in today's video, we are going to be covering using AI to automate parts of the print on demand process. Let's go. This is the AI training segment. We're going to keep it simple. We're going to keep it straightforward. We're going to show you how to do product descriptions, ads, and design even products with the power of AI. And oh, shoot, what was I going to say? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Now I remember. Now I remember. If you're loving the training so far, just give me a love in the comments because we're almost at an end. And I want to remind you guys that tomorrow's video and our final video, we're going to have an opportunity that we've never done before. I don't know if we'll ever do it again, but it will be to work directly with Matt and myself. We'll work on your store with you, designing your products, writing your ads, creating your ad images and coaching you, finding your audiences, coaching you through building your store over six months. So info on that is tomorrow. It is extremely limited. Okay. Extremely. I'm talking like 10 ish people. So uh, we got hundreds of people in here. Spots will go fast. That all being said, let us get into today's training. Let's catch up on how the store is performing. We're looking at yesterday, April 7th, 6th. Yes. April 6th. Sales were up by 6%, baby, $11,363.32 yesterday, which is awesome because yesterday I was at the beach all day. Actually, I spent like two hours driving around looking for parking first. Um, and then we left that beach and went to a beach right by our house because we knew there would be parking there. So quite the day, but I am sunburnt. And because of that, I am tired. So I'm gonna try to bring the fire today for you guys, even though I'm tired. Give me a fire in the comments because that's what we're bringing. And also give me a nibbler in the comments if you're a fan of Futurama. If you're not a fan of Futurama, boy, you's tripping, I. Okay, let's get into it. So pause. I wanna show you guys some stuff real quick. And I wanna show you how we made these designs. Uh, if you guys haven't heard by now, we're going all in on hats this year, okay? Hats are our big bet. Uh, let's go for new arrivals here. Hats are our big bet this year. This is where we think most of the money will be made. T-shirts, second biggest bet. Don't sleep on T-shirts. But right now, we've kind of noticed that there is a huge hole in the marketplace where people aren't fulfilling on badass, cool print-on-demand hats. That's what we're doing over here. This is like 60% hats, okay? Maybe 70% hats. I haven't broken down the math. It's mostly hats. And what I want you guys to notice is a lot of these hats, if not all of them, Matt's the one who's been designing them, but I'm fairly certain all of these, at least the mock-ups, everything that you see here is AI generated. And we use a very simple software. It's called Ideogram, okay? It's I-D-E-O-G-R-A-M. Give me an Ideogram in the comments. I just spelled it for you, so you should know how to spell it. Dot AI, that is the domain, Ideogram.ai. You have to create an account. It's free. There's paid versions as well, but this is what we've been using. And then you'll notice we also have mock-ups. So like how this hat is on a bench and it's by the water. Like this is not a real photograph. This is all AI generated. And we are using mid-journey for that. I'm not gonna be covering this today because you can't use mid-journey in a web browser, sadly. But there's really good tools that you can use such as placeit.net where you literally just upload your image and it will put it on the... Um, mock-up for you. This is a better move for you actually, because it doesn't require a designer. You see what we're doing with the custom mock-ups, like you see here, it's amazing, but you still need a designer to put the design on the mock-up. With, with Placeit, you don't need that. And uh, I have an account here, so I can show you guys how it works, but it's, it's $9.99 a month. Like, you know, so yeah, let's see if I can log in real quick. It might prompt me to verify on my phone. Okay, no, we're logged in. So I'll show you guys how this works um, and everything. So, okay. So let's pretend, let's um, try to recreate this design using AI. And what I want you guys to realize is that this is gonna get you 90% of the way there. You're still gonna need some sort of designer to fix it because there will be spelling errors. There will be weird things uh, that happen but it's doing most of the work for you. So what I want you to do, okay, follow this process, comment process below. This is very important. You're going to 
come over, you're going to do your research. So just like I showed you, okay, you're going to go to Google. You're going to do like dog apparel, graphic tees. You're going to do these searches. You're going to do research and you're going to find designs that you like. Okay. Then you're going to come over here to ideogram and you're going to try to recreate those designs with prompts. So for this, it's dog dead retro patch hat. So like create me a retro patch design for a hat that says the words dog dad. So really simple. And then we'll see what it comes up with. It's not perfect every time. You might have to play with it. You can generate new prompts every like 15 seconds. So you're going to do this and you're going to get your output. Okay. And once you get your output, you're going to take it to a designer. You're going to say, Hey, I created this, but it looks a little funny. Can you fix it up a little bit for me? Okay. So like, look, we just got this design. This is actually pretty freaking sick. And I'm going to, uh, I'm going to download it. Okay. And then we're going to actually, I'm going to take a screenshot of it. Cause I don't want that weird colored background, uh, like the orange and stuff. So I'm going to screenshot it. Okay. We got the design just like that. Dog dad. This doesn't even need a designer to come in and do anything. This is actually really good already. We're going to go to a website called remove.bg because you may notice that had a white background in it. So I want to get rid of that white background. You can use this website for free. I have a paid account. I'm going to drop the design right here. And what it's going to do is it's going to remove the background. Okay. So now I've got a design file with a transparent background. I'm going to hit download HD because I have a paid account. I can download the HD version. Guys, I highly recommend it. I mean, you can get in remove BG for like a dollar. Well, nine bucks a month. There you go. Nine bucks a month for 40 images. It's definitely worth it. And then we're going to go over to place it. And we're going to go to hats. Okay. So now we've got our design. And all we have to do is find a hat that we want to put it on. Obviously, we want it. To, this is funny. These are AI generated too. They're using like AI now. Uh, okay, so obviously we want a male. So let's see if I can. Okay, well, we want to find a cool male that fits our target demographic. It's also really important when you're doing mock-ups, you want the person to fit your target demographic. So this isn't bad right here. Um, and Oh, this one's not bad either. This one's not bad. So we'll do this. Edit, and then we're gonna upload our design that we just created, like so, okay? And then we will have our mock-up, just like that. Now we've got a design. If this just blew your mind with how easy it is, like remember, you used to, <laughs> coming up with an idea in the past, you had to come up with the idea, you had to go through the time of hiring a designer, which could take days. You had to wait for them to design the product, which could take days. You had to pay them money. I just did all this in, I mean, I've been recording for nine minutes total, and that included my awesome intro, by the way. Mm -hmm. Give me an awesome in the comments if my intro was awesome. But dude, how mind-blowing is this? Just like that, we have a product designed with a mock-up, that we can run ads with. Look at that, dog dad. Boom, look at this. It, it, it just blows my mind how far technology has come. Give me a blows my mind in the comments if you are also mind blown. When I started 10 years ago, none of this was available, none of this. And this is why I'm trying to tell you that now is the time to get started because not everybody understands how easy it is to do this now. Okay, people are still like, oh, apparel's too much work. Oh, design, this is, I can't do this. Like, no, it's fucking easier than ever. This is your opportunity. Get in before everyone else realizes how easy it is now. Give me an opportunity in the comments if you feel like this is the opportunity of a lifetime because this has never been simpler than it is now. The technology has just made things so much simpler. It's insane, okay?
and we can just run this again. Like if I want more variations, I could run this over and over and over until I got some stuff that I really loved. Like that was pretty cool that we got something great on the first try. It honestly doesn't always work out that way. Sometimes it'll take, you know, 15 tries to get a good one. And it's still way faster and way simpler than the alternatives and how things used to be, right? So again, <laughs> this is actually kind of funny. Um, let me say, uh, so what do we have coming around the corner? Cinco de Mayo. Give me a Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo design for a hat. I'm going to sell to dog loving males. <laughs> okay, let's see what it can come up with. So Cinco de Mayo's around the corner. Uh, in our one of our last videos, we did find that like Cinco de Mayo themed t-shirt. I thought that was pretty cool. All right, so this one is giving me um, like a little bit too much. It's putting the person in it. So I'm obviously gonna have to refine the prompt a little bit. Uh, does, Cinco de Mayo patch design. Okay, so the patch. Okay. And we could probably remove the words dog dad here because for a Cinco de Mayo design, I don't think that like it needs to say dog dad simply because, I mean, it's a, it's a hat that they're going to wear to a party like one time and people do spend money. Okay. People do spend money on like these, um, holidays, you know, think about St. Patrick's Day. People buy all this green shit, okay? Think about ugly sweaters. People are going to parties on these holidays and you can make money selling to them for these holidays. Comment holidays below if you think it's smart to sell these designs to people during the holidays. Um, okay, we're gonna remove this dog dad part and just see what we can come up with. Give me a Cinco de, Zio, Cinco de Mayo design patch design. Cinco de Mayo design patch design for a hat. Okay, that's... Kind of redundant. I should have reworked that uh, prompt a little bit. <laughs> oh, wait. I, I've, <laughs> I didn't uh, include the dog theme, but look at this. This is actually sick. This is another good one. Look at this. Boom, baby. Okay, again, and then we could take this and we could take it to get the background removed. Whoops. Oh my God, it sounds like someone just fucking died upstairs at my house. Someone just f fell down and, and now the cat's crying. <laughs> Maybe the cat fell. Okay, so now look, we've got our transparent. Boom, download this bad boy. Download, and then we go to place it. And what do we do? We replace the design here. We upload our Cinco de Mayo design. And now we have, let's crop this. Oh, wait. Should have done this last time. Like made the design bigger. Oh, it looks like this can remove the background for you, by the way. You can uh, remove the background directly and place it. I didn't know this. So you actually don't even need a remove BG subscription. You can just use this. That's really useful for you guys. I'm glad that that exists. Okay, give me a useful in the comments. All right, but now this AI is like looking for the background to remove it and it doesn't have a background. All right, I'm gonna close out because it's gonna take too long. We're just gonna <laughs> re-upload this bad boy. I just wanna see what it looks like, then we'll move on. So we're gonna make this as big as possible where it still fits. Okay, crop. And then boom, we got our hat. Boom, Cinco de Mayo hat. Boom, Cinco de Mayo hat. Ready to party. Oh, well, kept this on it. Okay. Well, you guys get the idea. So if this part blew your mind, the design with ideogram plus place it, just give me a mind blown in the comments. Give me a yes if you're going to use this because, dude, it just makes things so much easier. Okay. Now, the next thing I want to show you is how to do product descriptions and ads using... ChatGPT, yes, this document may look overwhelming and it may look confusing. I promise you it is very easy, okay? These are prompts you're gonna use with ChatGPT. 
you can say, act like it, I'll read the prompt to you really quick, but don't pay too much attention to what the prompt says. Just worry about what it does. Act like an e-commerce conversion rate specialist. Here are details about my store, brand products, uh, product details, brand is brand, selling product type, product benefits, list of product benefits. Like these are where you would insert these items, okay? Uh, and basically it asks to explain about your product and all that stuff. So here I've already, and I'm gonna give you access to this, by the way, I'm gonna give you access to this URL. It'll be in the comments of this video so you can grab these prompts. But here's the example. Act like an e-commerce conversion rate specialist. Here's some details about my store, brand products, brand is paw, selling dog mom hoodie. So in this example, I'm advertising a dog mom hoodie. I give info about our brand and I put all the info here, okay? So now we're gonna take this and we're gonna paste it and don't worry, guys, if you're like, well, I don't understand the chat GPT prompt. I have it. You're getting access to the document. It's all in there. It's really easy to understand. You just remove certain words and then you replace them with your own. Very easy. So we're going to use this and we're going to just paste it in here and we're going to see the product description that chat GPT comes up with for us. Dive into the world of paws and discover the exclusive dog mom hoodie that speaks volumes of your adoration for man's best friends, crafted for those who carry their heart on their sleeve, or in this case, their hoodie. This piece is more than just apparel. It's a statement with every glance and every wear. You're not just showcasing your unique style, but also your deeper love for dogs. The paws dog mom hoodie is designed not only to pamper you with comfort, but also wear your passion with pride. It's eye-catching designs are a testament to exclusivity, ensuring that you stand on the crowd. So, and it talks about how we give money to... Uh, pounds and stuff for dogs. I, I don't know why I can't think of the word. Uh, shelters, yes, shelters. And it just covers everything about the hoodie, like why they should buy it. It's got bullet points on what's special about the product. And honestly, I um I probably would have it re rewrite it. And I would say, can you make the paragraphs shorter and instead use more bullet points, okay? Okay. So I don't like this because it was a little too blocky. People don't read blocks. People like to read short paragraphs, like, you know, one to two sentences max. So they're going to make it a lot more concise for me and bullet oriented. And this time we'll probably come out with something that's a lot better. This is still a little long. I don't know why it's doing it, but it's definitely shorter. So this one that it's coming out with is a bit better. It's still too long, like, but it's it's definitely a lot better. I would say we're like 50% better. There we go. Yeah, this is good. This is way better. So now we have a product description. And this is important because if you look at other stores that use um, print-on-demand things like Shine On, Printful, Printify, none of them are changing their product description. They're all using the default one that came with the print on demand supplier. And what that means is no brand differentiation. You don't stick out at all. You're not special and people don't come back and buy from you. Like 40% of our customers who buy from us at pause come back and they buy more products from us because we create a unique brand experience. This right here was written with this prompt. Okay. But as you can see, it's all bullet oriented. Uh, so, you know, that's kind of what we decided to go with. Bullets are really good because people like bullets. People read bullets. People don't like huge blocks of text, okay? And yeah, I mean, it's that easy to write a unique product description. So we've already got a product right here designed. We've got mock-ups for it. It's sick. It's awesome. Now we've got a unique product description to go with it. Just give me a hell yeah, if you're loving how much easier this is than doing everything manually, paying designers, paying writers, or spending like, imagine if you had to write a product description for every product, how long that would take you. Just give me a hell yeah, if this is way easier and just give me an easier too, because why not? You know, we're trying to get thousands of comments. Let's do it. Give me a hell yeah, give me an easier. Last thing we have left to do is write ads. So we have the ad prompt here and again, Act as a top marketing copywriter. Write me a Facebook ad for product type. So this is like what type of product it is. As you can see, we put hoodie and then product name. We put dog mom hoodie because that's the name of the product. It's the same product. Uh, 
here's the target audience for the ad. You put target audience. So, uh, okay, here's the target audience for the ad. Women who love their dogs and are between the ages of 25 and 50, okay? And then if you have an incentive, which we recommend you do because, uh, you know, HIC, hook incentive, right? So the second part of the ad should offer an incentive. The incentive for this particular ad is free shipping and the coupon code for that incentive is free ship. And then, yeah, I mean, that's all that you have to do in the copy and paste section. There's also a third thing in here, which is email marketing, but we're not going to cover that today because it's a little more advanced and all I want you to focus on is making your first sales. But obviously you'll have access to this document so you can use that if you want. Give me a first sales in the comments so you guys know what we're focused on getting our first sales. Okay, so now we're going to take this, we're going to paste it in here and we're going to have them write an ad for our product as well. And remember, this prompt makes it use the HIC method, okay? You can see Dog Moms Unite, hook, calling out our target audience, incentivize, free shipping, use free ship, click and save on hoodies for the call to action. And you can have it redo it again if you want it, like make the call to action stronger, tell them to click shop now. This is kind of like a moot point. It's not really worth doing because click shop now and save. See, like this is a little better, but you you could have figured that out yourself. You For the call to action, we always put click shop now and save, or we've been testing out just putting the literal URL of the product in the ad. They're both good. You're not gonna go wrong with either one of those, but that's it. Now we have ads as well. So within like 20 minutes, plus me explaining plus me talking about a bunch of nonsense, plus me doing an intro. We've created products, we've got mock-ups, we've created custom product descriptions, and we've got ads. By the way, this is the same way that we write ads now. We have, our, we have a custom AI tool, actually, and we're gonna open that up to you guys here soon. Um, but it uses this like same system. It's a little bit better because the tool that we have goes and scrapes the web page and it remembers things about your store and it trains on your store and stuff like that. So it's a bit better. But this is how we're writing ads too. We're not really, we fired our copywriters. We were paying people $6,000 a month to write our ads and to write our emails. We fired them, we replaced them with AI. Now our ads and our emails make more money and we don't have to pay anyone. It's amazing. Give me an amazing in the comments if you're just loving the power of AI. Give me an AI in the comments if you're excited to use AI. And guys, that's all I got for you today. We've covered everything A to Z on what you need to know if you're my apprentice coming to work on our store and you needed to get it scaled up, okay?